All right, hello and welcome to today's video. I'm your host, Reverend Sylvanus Tree Walker, and today we're talking about the formation of a new coven here in Springfield, Raven Temple of CX Wicca, and we're also going to be talking a little bit about Norse witchcraft. Um, and what this is is uh, we are uh, forming this new group, Raven Temple of CX Wicca here in Springfield, Missouri. And what CX Wicca is, CX Wicca is a uh, Anglo-Saxon uh, uh, derivative of uh, Wicca and witchcraft that was created by Dr. Raymond Bucklin in 1974. Raymond Bucklin is known as the grandfather of American Wicca or witchcraft by he is the man who brought Gardnerian witchcraft to the United States in 1963. Um, in 1974, he wrote his book, The Tree, a book of Saxon witchcraft, and it was a change for him because he saw things within Gardnerian witchcraft that did not specifically fit his, his ideals or what he wanted the craft to be. So he created a tradition that was based on the Anglo-Saxon gods and uh, various Wiccan practices that kind of melted together. Now, uh, CX Wicca is not as a true CX Wicca is not heathenism. CX Wicca is exactly what it is, a form of Anglo-Saxon witchcraft with the gods Woden and Freya as the uh, uh, primary duality that is followed within the uh, uh, tradition. And specifically because Freya is the goddess of witchcraft, so it definitely uh, goes together. Another thing that is very uh, uh, unique about uh, CX Wicca is that it is the first tradition that allows for uh, self-initiation. Now other traditions and other mindsets were that only a witch could initiate a witch. Well, it was taken that, you know, well who initiated the first witch? So Dr. Buckland came up with the idea of within this tradition that uh, you could self-initiate and if you were uh, had done so, you could start a CX Wiccan Coven. Um, after two years, you would be considered a priest or priestess of CX Wicca. And it was very uh, uh, egalitarian in the fact that nobody was the uh, grand poopa uh, high mucky muck for too long because it was said that, you know, it was a good idea to uh, rotate between priests and priestesses so that everybody within the coven would have a chance. And I think that's that's very applicable. So uh, what we're doing is we have our temple space. It is coming together nicely, which there is a video of that, which I will link in the description. Plus, to kind of give you guys a little bit better idea of what uh, CX Wick is, I did an interview with Dr. Buckland before he is passing on my radio show, uh, Pega Perspective on Blog Talk Radio, and I will link that interview uh, to this uh, video post and let you guys kind of get an idea of where this was coming from. And to those that are listening to this here in Springfield, uh, we invite you to join us. What we're going to do is here around Beltane, uh, or maybe just a little bit after we're going to get people together and we're going to do a mass initiation where we're going to come together and do our initiation ceremonies and actually get uh, the Raven Temple off the ground. And also, just to let you know, also what we're going to be doing is we're going to be exploring here on Pagan Perspectives, uh, the channel here on YouTube, we're going to be diving into practices that are tied to Norse witchcraft, uh, the gods, the runes, various different things. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And also, just to let you guys know, we are currently going through a subscriber uh, giveaway. Once we hit 400 subscribers, what we're going to do is we're going to give away a copy of the Book of Spells by Nicole uh, Dumont Pulford. And then also, we're going to be giving away a copy of A Witch's Bible Complete. Um, by uh, Janet and Stuart Farrar. So we'll put the link to that video uh, in the description down below so you guys can uh, comment and subscribe and get yourself put in for that because once we hit 400 subscribers, 
I'm going to uh, make the announcement of who wins, and we're going to send both of those books off to you. Um, also, we're going to, in this video, show some of the books that were important or are important uh, to the practice of CX Wicca, such as The Tree, Dr. Buckland's Big Blue Book of Witchcraft, known as Big Blue, a complete book of witchcraft, and a couple other things that are going to be important to our practice. Uh, we're going to put some links to the Raven Temple's uh, Facebook group and some other pages and blogs and stuff so that you guys can get a better idea of what's going on. So I just wanted to put this video up. Um, we are moving in a new direction and hopefully the gods will, will smile over this and it will be something new. So if you're interested, if you have questions about Norse witchcraft, and the tree and Dr. Buckland and anything pertaining to the Raven Temple of CX Wicca, which is forming here in Springfield, Missouri, then please feel free to uh, uh, comment, message me. I'll put my email down below. So until next time, uh, we're going to have more videos and stuff coming out over the weeks. So I appreciate you taking the time. This is Reverend Sylvanus Treewalker saying the blessings of the old gods to you all.